you must be Chris. I'm Steven. Thank you so much for helping us out today. It'll only take about five minutes, I promise. Go ahead and take a seat right there. We'll uh, get started in just a second. Can someone get the lights? All right, Chris, uh, whenever you're ready, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Chris Upshaw. I'm 20 years old, and I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. Tell us about the incident that started your struggle with PTSD. I was nine. Well, it was my ninth birthday, actually. <laughs> Chris, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> she was just starting out as a paralegal at a big law firm in the city, so she had really long hours, and I never really got to see her that much. She turned back as she was singing happy birthday to give me a smile. Can you tell us what happened next? It was an icy day. She didn't see a red light and she just skidded through the intersection. We got hit on the left. She died on impact. All I got were a couple bruises and a piece of glass went through my right hand. I've had a scar ever since. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, can you tell us how this affected your family? Well, my parents were upset, but I think they managed to deal with it. We never really talked about it, though. I think they just thought I was too young to realize what had happened. Sometimes I'd catch my mom crying, but she'd always just shrug it off. Mm -hmm. And how about your father? Not much that I can easily remember, except for this one time on my 19th birthday. He sent me a card, and at the end, he wrote, I know it's been a hard 10 years without Sadie, but I'm proud of the man you've become. And how did this event affect your life? I got put on some medication, but it didn't help me forget. Eventually, I just stopped taking them and tried to deal with it on my own. Now, this might be a little forward, but what's been the hardest part for you? The hand. How so? It's just a constant reminder. I tried wearing a glove for a while, but, you know, kids love to make fun of you for stuff like that. It's, it's just one of those things. Uh, now, Chris, we just have one more thing, but if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you totally do not have to. We just think it might be good for the documentary if we could get a shot of your scar. Yeah, sure. All right, thank you so much, Chris. We'll be in touch as soon as we wrap up production. Thank you.